everybody and welcome to Zach103 TV and today we are running at Pocono. This is the round of 12 eliminator for the NCCRS and uh, obviously as you can see the only Toyota in the field, uh, Jimmy Star starting pole today. we go back to TV1 as I already don't like spectator. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I got Dark X in the booth with me today. Um, say hi if you want. Going on YouTube. <laughs> um. Anyways, uh, that's actually kind of cool. Safe barriers they did there, but regardless, 19 Jimmy Star getting his uh, pole here, third of the season. I wait, no, no, that would uh, we were thinking Byron Webb was gonna get it, but he didn't. Uh, Byron Webb getting a front row start as well. Uh, Craig Packers looking for uh, a, a astronomical fourth straight top five, I believe, for road racing, who's been on their comeback low key. And then there's Shred starting fourth and fifth is Santa Messi and the five who got eliminated unfortunately from the playoffs, but still looking to get a win before the season's all said and done. Um, we have 24 laps here, and yes, this is a Pocono night, as uh, you may be surprised to see. Um, and playoff deal. So the highest starting playoff driver you may have noticed is the zero six. They are the lowest pointing playoff driver right now. So. This first will end the way it is. It is likely they may be in the, the next round. And Brock Nelson, second highest starting. He is. He was only uh, a few points shy of locking in after last week. Uh, so the 451 is looking in pretty good shape too. Space Guy in the 22 is locked in to the round of eight with his good performance at uh, Papyrus and a fair a performance last week at Homestead, which was good enough to lock him in. But other than that, we see some other guys appear as well. I think that's the uh, find the 51. It's, uh, you know, Nimrod and uh, Saber Fox. Nimrod needs to come in clutch. She's eight to the good. Saber is ten to the bad. So we'll see that was And uh, Kyler Shoe Straight 24 to the good. We have some cars in the back like uh, the uh, 83. Uh, he looks good in the standings with, you know, 29 to the good, but realistically speaking, that's not enough. Rubin Gonzalez only 23 to the good after an astronomical round last time around. He hasn't had a good round this time, though. But uh, Bruno is uh, starting last and not looking good in standings. And, uh, and some Dan, 28 to the good, is along with the 83. That's not going to be good enough. So those three in the back, all of which above the cut line coming into this, are in a dire situation of sorts so they'll have to hit their p's and q's for sure starting in the back here at pocono and according to the test it, yeah it kind of it might be a survival of the fittest we'll see what happens but it's pocono at night round of 12 eliminator we only have four races left in the season after this one's said and done uh dark you got any thoughts yep every point counts when you come to come to the elimination race at pocono it's a brand new event one of the lights, and like you said earlier, the one at the bottom and really at the back could have a lot of work to do. Like uh, Gonzalez, NASCAR fan, Sundan, they're going to have to find a way up to the front. As for the others who's in the front, next to Potato Boy. Well, Potato Boy is actually you should kind of be okay tech. if you get like a top 20 or yeah, better. He's, a, he's actually 9 of the bad, so it really depends on where everyone else finishes for him. And he also yeah, needs yeah. to he needs to grab some spots. He is yeah. he is not looking great. Yeah, but the stands now he'll be in good position, but he just needs to stay there. As for drivers like Zig Zagoon, he may maybe do 6 or better or Finish yeah. ahead of maybe Brandon Nelson. Brock Nelson, yeah. Yeah, keep in mind, yeah, Zig Zagoon yeah. is the lowest pointed playoff driver with only 13, is 13 to the bad. And Brock Nelson is 39 to good, second stage, only one locked, not locked in yet. Yeah, I think he can not have Nimrod or the guy that's already locked in to pass him. But he needs to at least stay in the, the top 10. Same thing goes for Mr. Replace himself, Frank. He may do good if he finish in the top 15 or does better than Brandon Nelson and Nimrod. 
Base guy in their hand locked in. And Frank Chilton is eight to the bad. They need to cook. See Shredder, season oh, yeah. points champion with the top four starting spots as well. They're trying to get a win before this season's said and done. Make something of it. Oh, yeah, so they get off turn number three. Thanks to our nice Fisker or Chevy Camaro. We wait for the flag man to go to the start finish line. And we are green at Pocono. Mm, look like, yep, so we missed it on the pull out of line. Looks like I'm thinking about it, but yeah, Junior Star leads down to turn number one. Three wide for a second. Brandon Nelson's going to try to get in a place for be of our top playoff drivers. He's going to follow Semi Messi. And, uh, and yeah. nothing far behind him is. I Fox. believe that is the Saber Fox. Oh, 17 in the wall. A little bit of a wiggle, but. Oh, did he end up singing it? They didn't. Oh, 11 no, hard in the wall. That is definitely a caution. Right into his Come teammate. On. Oh, oh, That's Pox, cool. Pox is in it. And to the line, it looks like the 51 is Saber Fox, or not Saber Fox, Brock Nelson uh, is going to take it. So Brian Nelson takes it at the line, and that changed a lot. I, that actually may have, that slowed up a lot of the field. I'm not sure how much it took out, but uh, we've seen the 17, the five get together. That wasn't it. Caution cooldown if they cannot make it green after a lap on the first start, which means they will go single file and starts after that next restart if they can't make it. So Vince Freeze, two weeks in a row getting screwed over by this time his teammate. Uh, two of the Rail Family Sports cars, both of them uh, likely done for the day. I'm not seeing any playoff drivers involved in this except for 97 to Kyler Sustray, and that may be his playoffs as he has very heavy damage. He was never really a high a high contender, but he was consistent enough and to think he was this close to making it in. And unfortunately, an accident like that in lap one, taking him out of contention is not good. But regardless, his chances weren't high. As uh, Brian Byron Webb is uh, Byron, Brian Webb is now out of the race. So let's go ahead and see what happened okay, there. Okay. We'll go let's to see who's you know, We'll go to helicopter cam. I don't think there's some pit stops, but. We've seen that 51 come in clutch big time. And that's what the 06 was wanting to do. But they decided, you know what, let's live to see another day. Backed off, stayed behind that 73. And that proved to be the right strat. Now you see Craig Pockers and the 5 of Santa Messi. Jimmy, Jimmy might have had an issue somewhere as well. Because, okay, well, so here's what happened. So, so Patrick. I think that was uh, Brian Messi. I don't know, wide for a second. Oh, they oh, got into Patrick. All right, so Patrick lost a spot because he got tagged. But now uh, the 17, right into the 97 to Sustre, who got into the 11. Uh, so Williams into the void. Um, and then McClure nowhere to go. Jet, oh, they turned in. Freeze just Ooh. got really pounded there. Frey was able to avoid. Sustray was not. Some Dan with some damage in the 63. He's one to definitely be concerned about. You see some cars back here getting yeah, involved. But Some Dan was involved heavily, actually. A 124 uh, fan. Uh, yeah. Genghis Khan. Uh, 83 was some slight damage. I'm not Is really that saying any... fan in it? Uh, I mean, uh, 24 fan? Yeah, he was in it. Um... I want to rewind this a little bit because there's a little more to this, obviously. So, so like Gonzalez is also in it. So we've seen Victor Nunez. So it uh, started with the 63 getting involved, the 20, 97 nowhere to go. But Tottenham, the 83, man, 30, the 30 did not the use the brakes. Double zero slightly involved too. So a few playoff drivers just barely involved. Barely any damage. The 63 maybe with the most if you're speaking exactly realistically. But, um, actually, the 83's got a little bit more rearing damage than I was thinking. But, um, other than that, the uh, 97 only play after realistically out of the race. But the 83 has got a decent points gap. He can cook, but he's going to need to defend something. And in a 24 lap race, he is not exactly 
out of the ballpark of the manual DNQ either, or just call, uh, race DNF either, but Tater Boy also with some damage being uh, outside of the cut line by nine points. You don't want to be that position. But Brock Nelson, um, he's not locked in. He's going to need to lead some more laps to do that. Um, we're going to give him another single foul chance this time around. So or Brock Nelson and Saber Fox. If they can't, date. Yep. And Saber Fox is on the chopping block. Uh, they're 10 of the bad, but they have to make sure they don't jump this start. Because if they jump this start, they lose everything. And quite possibly their championship hopes. They're in great position right now. And so is Zig Zagoon, despite losing uh, quite a few spots on that restart. But they're still in a great spot. And Frank Chilton, despite starting in the mid-pack, has recovered. Was able to avoid all that carnage and is now 10th right now, right in front of Nimrod, who also was able to avoid the carnage. Those two are currently battling for a position. Um, and uh, as it stands, uh, Nimrod has 7 points over Chilton. And, and then he's got the 22 space guy trying to keep consistency going with a... Uh, uh, top 10 here and momentum into the round of eight and quite possibly the championship four for the 22 car who's had a pretty stellar season so far but frank chilton look looking to come in clutch right now after just having a really mediocre playoff so far and mediocre barely enough to make it through rounds but they'll have to come in clutch this time the 87 of uh Saber fox is gonna have to be watched very closely here in this restart we haven't seen restarts and again rule is uh if they cannot make it to the lap, one lap without a caution, that is a single file restart for the remainder of the race or any other wrecks that may happen. So, hey, what is going currently out at the moment? And if there is a car length in between the 51 and the 87 at as the 87 crosses the line, that is a violation. The 87 will be given a black flag. Which, as I said, would be catastrophic. However, they would get a point for that lap because that's how Inner Thunder 3 does it. And I also give that. So, restart is clean. Dude, that was close. Eh, not really. He had a... Um, kind of, but not really. And people are well, getting antsy. So, don't die in turn one. Uh, there's a 75 looking to go back to back in that 75 car. Getting around Frank Chilton. Jimmy wants the lead back. Uh, through one. Put in turn number one. Here comes Craig. Oh, they're going to hook it. It's great racing, but can they survive? Zig Zagoon, he knows what's at stake. He's he's starting to figure out the deal here. It's Craig Packers and the 46. As, uh, did they not? I guess okay, I guess the field kind of spread out there. Yeah, so some of those guys got damaged from the oh. first incident. Okay. Well, I don't see any yellow yeah. flags, so I guess we're good. Nimrod coming up. Yeah. Nimrod is coming, but Craig is leading right now. Craig Pockers, no wins in this series, but he's trying. Man, how many oh. DNFs do we have? Holy cap. Holy crap. Some Dan is out of the race. Some Dan's out. Um, Sue Stray is out. Um, holy cow. That's a lot of DNFs for oh. such a wreck. I didn't think a lot of cars got a lot of damage. Benny Gonzalez is out. You can just cons out. That really makes the whole new bowl game here. So, so guys, we thought, yeah. guys, we thought we're out. Might be in now. Oh, 29 oh, in the wall. Oh Big crash. Uh, that might be it. Game. That might be it. Three wide for the lead. And yep, there goes Nimrod pulling away. Nimrod with damage. And Jimmy's done. After leading and doing well, Brock Nelson... We were saying he What's wasn't it? quite locked in, but he's still in a very comfortable spot. And it looks like Jeremy Frey just sent it in a little bit too deep. Uh, I think Nim... Well, there was four wide. Yeah, no, right there's, there's no room. Azrael Dreamer, nowhere to go. Squeeze uh, into Jimmy. Nimrod was heavy Nelson, damage. Nelson got Nimrod, the... Well, uh, maybe a little damage, but... I don't know I if that's a DNF or not. They were able to make it one lap, so... We will continue for the double fall starts. Fortunately, uh, Nimrod. The, 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 so I did not think the 63. That oh my, the 75. Uh, oh, this happened. Coming to pacing. Uh, 75 coming to course, pacing. Uh, Gorse was in the first wreck as well. Yes, Gorse was also in that first wreck. Uh, wow, that's 75 is gonna get. Gorse. 
Yeah, that's six. That's seventy-five is gonna get disqualified. That is. Man, he was not happy. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a manual day. That's that's uncalled for. So that's gonna who, be. Question now: Who's leading? Uh, is it the uh, who's leading? Is either. Uh, uh, twenty-five. Uh, Caden Williams. Dang, did not expect that. I thought it was Zig Zagoon, but he must have beat him at the line. Must have. Um. This is amazing. Yeah, that's something. Okay, so, um, so uh, let's take a breather here. So, um, uh, Rina Gonzalez. Uh, so Gonzalez his playoff hopes are in limbo right now. Uh, he's got to have. See, he's uh got twenty something points on Nimrod, which is, I don't know if they're still in the race after that pretty hard hit. Um, Forty. Frank Chilton, they have. About the same. Actually, they have about... They have some points on uh, Chilton, so it's really going to come down for Gonzalez uh, on up. It's really going to come down to how well uh, Frank, Saber Fox, and Zig Zagoon do. Because those are the only three threats right now. And Potato Boy maybe as well. But all the guys below the cut line are coming in clutch for sure. But the guys above have been gotten involved in those accidents. And unfortunately, Nimrod also has a... a it looks like she's done for the day, but Gorse uh, and uh, Moon Man, after those uh, collisions on the pacing, are done for the day as well as Azrael German was manually disqualified for reckless driving under pacing. Result, we have Jimmy Starr at 83. And Jimmy, yeah, he was our pole sitter. Unfortunately, not going to be able to finish this. No Clifton's done, Monster's done. Uh, a lot of cars I didn't think get a lot of damage there in that second wreck, but I guess they did. Um, out of the race, uh, in just two wrecks, we only have 22 cars left in the field. That is insane. So it depends on where, so Gorse is technically still alive? My opponent's right. Uh, Gorse? What do you mean? Oh, Gorse, uh, no, they're done for, the, they're out of the race. Nimrod has not been scored out of the race yet, but it's saying, uh, it's seeing they have not been able to pass. It's likely they're, no, they're still cooking that 29 car. If they can hold this thing to the end, they may have a shot in the play in the round of uh, eight. If they can finish this, th if they can finish this thing, that is so. Well, uh, running to the tire goes off, I guess. Yeah. I was talking about like Sunday and some. It, it's really gonna depend on how well uh, other guys do, really, because they have a decent gap. I get, again, I say decent, but it's going to come down to that because that's how tight the points are. And they have that gap from really just last week and then some from Papyrus. Uh, it's going to be close. As the entire field you can see because there's only 25 left in the race. So Nimrod is going to just hope because they didn't lead any laps and they didn't, they haven't led any laps. So they're just going to have to finish this thing. And finishing this thing is quite a few points compared to the guys that didn't. So, um, at this rate, they're going to have to hope the, uh, other cards don't finish. As we're going to go green this time. They were able to make it a lap that last time, so we will go continue with our double foul starts. Unless, uh, this time, unless the, I'm going to keep that thing on because they didn't make it very many laps here. So if, if, uh, if they wreck within one lap in this run, we'll throw the yellow or in uh can do go back to go to single file starts it becomes a reoccurring issue but only 23 Maybe left single. in the race so <laughs> it's been a race and a half uh i just did not think that one wreck would take out so many cars um, yeah that was a big factor that second one took out quite a few as well because can i think right now based on where zigzagoon is he may get get the second to last spot as they run, but... And Jeremy Frey, uh, he's under review right now for that second wreck. It wasn't quite confirmed. I don't think he caused it, actually, so... But he's he's under the radar. If he causes any... If he's anywhere closer to any more wrecks, he's definitely on the watch list, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. For penalties. Uh, Caden Williams hasn't had any great runs. Uh, well, he's been cooking some places, but the two Salamander Inc. cars starting in the front row. I don't think you'll be able to say that too much this season. Only two Pontiacs in the field. Well, yeah, how about that? I mean, yes. leading to the 
Ziggs again, 13 yeah. points back. Already got a point. Looking to win their way and come in clutch quite possibly for this round. It's 21 very off pace. Um, Since those guys are teammates, they can actually work together. Uh, yes, but they can, but Jeremy Frey wants nothing of it. And that three car is Zig Zagoon trying to take the lead and run with it. Because they need so it. 13 out. points to the bad. They came into this with nothing, and now they're cooking. And it was and the Frank versus uh, Zig Zagoon show for most of the season. It might be the same case again as Shred's also been consistent. They're trying to come get a win. Okay. I think Frank knows it's time to go because he definitely going to wait to the front. Oh, yeah. Frank Chilton is sending it. He oh, missed the yeah, corner a little bit. He knows what is at stake, though. It's just a round of eight spot. And he knows how many of those cars did not are not going to finish this race. Um, if the 21 car is very off pace. They'll be uh, uh, on the watch. Um, for, I dead hate the DNF, to be honest. They've had a really rough stretch. Well, it depends on how if they get them in time. But the 06 well, yeah. is going to lead a lap, and uh, we will continue with the double fall starts. We'll keep an eye on the 21. Do by uh, leading a lap. Yeah, we're I gonna think have to, right now, the cutoff line. Yeah, we're going to have to get rid of that 21 car. 29, I, 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 this is, it's just, I can't DNF them, man. It's playoffs. Um, I wouldn't right now. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the twenty. Oh, car in the wall, forty-six. Craig Packers. Was he wall rising? He saves it if someone goes to pit road. I what think. What is it? Eighty-seven of uh, Saber Fox. They did not oh, need this. Um, actually, they can still cook though with the finish, but uh, we'll see what happens if it's a finish of their day or what. But we'll, we'll let, we don't, we won't know. And the question is, is it a Unknown pit stop, or is it just for strategy? I don't know. Cause I, I don't definitely... think it's for strategy, but we'll see. Uh, we'll check the thing here in a second. Zig Zagoon has been passed for the lead by Shred, who's trying to get their first career win. And uh, the, the, the 22, trying to get win number two of the season, gets some momentum in the next round. The 21 is very off pace. You got Frings at the bottom as well. The 73 is cooking. Oh, they're coming. They are coming. Unfortunately, I may have to get rid of that 21 car off the racetrack. They're just too far off pace, I think. Nice. I'd hate to, but it looks like it. Several Fox be the only car I lap down. All right, the 87, uh, they uh, had a fuel leak uh, they had to repair. They oh, did so get that repaired, and they are back on the track. Yeah, I think there's not. Oh, they're back on the track. Yep, back on the track and about to go. Uh, they were actually able to stay on the lead lap there with that move. The 22 locked into the Ooh. next round, trying to take the lead here. He knows if he leaves a lap, it's going to help him be above the playoff line or keep him above at this point. Well, really, just consistency. He's locked in, that 22 car is. Oh, he is, okay. So, anything that happens now, he's not automatically locked in. And a win would definitely be some <laughs> momentum for sure. Well, look at Matthew Hill goes at the bottom. Matthew Hill won at Homestead, Miami. Hasn't done a whole lot since. He tried to peek, but don't have any drafting help. Man, the 22 trying to make a statement into the next round of the playoffs. Certainly so. He is looking in championship form right now. As a rookie, I will say. Shred, on the other hand, not quite a rookie, but had a very terrible first rookie season compared to... Pretty much everyone else in the field, and uh, they're trying to Good run enough. this thing to end. Saying guys that are not in the playoffs, these guys are really risking it. All right, so the 87 is going to be able to stay in the race. The 2904 are going to be able to stay in the race, fortunately. So the 21, I don't think they will, but I'm going to keep them on the track as long as I can because I'd hate for them to have another bad race. Yeah, because we're running out of laps with, like, what, 10 laps to go. Yeah, but I don't want them to cause a wreck up front either. Yeah, 73 they... Shred. Gonna take the lead back. Shred going Matthew. in. Matthew's gonna peek at the bottom. Matthew Hill looking for win number two of the season. Oh. Even Zigzag Goons won a part of this. Caden Williams hasn't won since Talladega in the Cup Series last year. 
and has not had much success here in the NCCRS. And Melinda Jones in the 58 is cooking as well. Shred gets kind of trained over there. Ooh. And the you 21, really aggressive. 21 is not going to be able to finish this race. Yeah, well, eight laps. To... Uh, I don't. I think they, they might catch him a little quicker than what I was anticipating. So let's hope. Uh, let's hope they don't catch him too quick. Uh. <laughs> well, let's see. We'll go with eight laps. Uh, it's gonna be close. I hate to do the 21, but man, they they can't finish. <laughs> they're they're too far off pace. I hate I hate to do it, but they're, like, they're just too far off. Close, but Zigzagoon at the other hand. Yeah, they're gonna be a late pit road. I think Zigzagoon would love the fact that you have the 21 to help him. Yeah, though the Zigzagoon, if he were able to win here today, he would be a, another third winner and a playoff winner and momentum in the next round. That's big if he can do it. Is unfortunately Pox Kozler are gonna take it Man, to the seven. garage in his day. I don't know what Frank is doing, but I don't think that it's what you want to do, but hey. You do you, buddy. Yeah, at, at this rate, he's got the track position. He, I, I'm barely certain he's locked into the next round. If he can finish. <laughs> if he can finish, he... he's in. Just those other cars, I'm not sure. I think the others are way out. Or Yeah, I think Frank's going to be in up, up, up above the line. And I was saying Potato Boy wasn't looking good. Here, here he is. He's actually still in the race. Um, Not running great, but he's still in the race. Oh, um, yeah, he... He's running fast enough times, I think, to stay in the race, too. Oh, yeah, certainly. He's got enough to stay around, because I think we'd be running out of... We'd be out of left at that time. The Matthew Hill fighting for... Well, you're not and at the lead yet. Zigzagoon is able to take it there at the line. That's going to be a lap lead. That's crucial. Is there four wide to one? <laughs> Frank is going to send it. Frank sending it. Not the oh. time. Oh, they saved it. <laughs> Save it. Oh, they can't save it no more. Fives around, 22s around. Cautions out. Who's going to get? Ooh, the 22 gets out of the way just in time. Pause the game real quick. Let's see. Did he get any badly damage? I thought Frank sent it. <laughs> Frank sent it, and he stuck it though. But I was a very Frank the... Chilton thing to do. I uh, I wouldn't really have expected, but he. He's gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna give him. Uh, he's gonna give him the lead. So Frank Chilton's gonna take the lead for overtime here, or we might oh, be wow. in overtime. But let's see what happened there. Um, I think we're what five laps to go. Yeah, and this will save a lot of those guys that were in danger. Are gonna lap down too. Free pass will not be given out since there's no one to lap down. So well, let's watch this. Uh, the 73 car. So we've seen Frank Shelton send it in deep. It looks like we're the four. I, Matthew leads in the middle. I, I can't blame Frank, honestly. It's this point in the season, the elimination race. You want to take the lead. He did it at the expense of the 90 and the 58, who barely oh, kept it straight. But unfortunately, they, they swung it up, and then they were just turning left. And then they're four wide again right here. That's an issue as well. They didn't expect to be four wide. And then the 73 and 22 got together. And the Messi. The 22 got squeezed by the five. Again, no playoff implications with this accident. Seeing uh, the 22 is locked in. But a late race crash. I don't think this took out anybody, realistically speaking. Maybe the 90, but... Yeah, it's 22, but I just don't think it's going one out. 73 didn't get a whole lot of damage either. Well, I say that, never mind. Just a little bit. They lost a ton of track position. So, um, I think at this point we can get this thing continued. As Nimrod's actually still in the race in that 29 car. Definitely one to yeah. watch. Uh, this is going to be... <laughs> updating points after this is going to be insane. I don't really know what to expect after that. And I gotta update points, cup points as well. Um, right for this, actually. I think right now at the moment, I would say based on position, Frank and Zigzagoon could be in, but I know at 
But I think as out at the moment is Sundan and I want to say Gonzalez, but I don't really don't know. I just, they have that points gap. It's it's going to be tough to say, but with the four and the 06 leading right now, and both of them battling for the most laps led, both of them coming in below the cut line, it's not looking good for specifically the double zero and the 97. Um, and it also with the 99 still running, uh, and the 87 still running as well. Um, I think. Yeah, so the and entire people, everyone below the cut line is still running. Keep in mind the 87 may also have some fresher tires with these late race restarts. We're going green this time, by the way. We're going to have four laps to go, but at this rate, um, the double zero, 97, 37, and 63 are out at, at what it's looking like right now. Oh, boy. It's up to Frank and Zigzagoon to do their Unless one of them has enough points gap for Nimrod, but I just think Nimrod has enough to do it at this rate. So we'll see what happens. No one needs a free pass. Everyone's still in it. The 87 has got to be careful maneuvering around that 29 and 04. It's going to be a couple more spots for them. I just did not think it would turn around this way, but sure enough, a Potato Boy, we were thinking he's going to have a Christopher Bell strat. It looks like uh, it's going to be Frank Chilton and Zig Zagoon for that. I Final think these race. Guys are gonna be a factor as well. It's been these two the entire regular season coming back in Pocono. One's looking for their second win, one's looking for their third. Green flag back in the air here at Pocono. Restart yeah, clean. Gonna get the window. But hey, it's not over yet. Yep, and uh green white checkers are on, so if there's a correct with two to go. There's a record two to go, and we're going to rack them back up, add a couple laps. That's more points, too. But I think it's all down to finishing. To the, I think it's coming down to finishing this event. If you can finish, you're in decent shape. Just make it to the end. But right now, it is Frank Shulton versus Zig Zagoon. The rivalry of the season, the rookie versus the veteran. Well, I wouldn't say veteran, but the rookie versus the more experienced driver. And you got Caden Williams down there, more so a veteran uh, compared to these other guys. He's not going to get the run out. Well, actually, he's going to get to send it on that four car. I'll count out the 25. Do not count out that 25. Do not count out that 66 we won a couple weeks ago. And do I not mean, count out the 55 of Ryan well. Cole. Oh. I think. Oh, boy. Frank led through. another lap there. Consistency is key. Here comes Marker Leonard in the 66. Ziggs again uh, left of the high side. Marker's got to run. Leonard's got to run. It's up to Frank to see what he can do. I just don't think he's going to have time. Frank is composed right now. He is very well composed. Didn't quite get a good corner there on, on the other hand, but that 66 does not quite have the speed. And there's a 25. The 55 may try to send it for a second here. Doesn't. Ryan Cole won at Talladega. Patrick Miller up here. Coming to three to go. Or no, two to go at the line. Two to go. Can Frank hold on to win it? Next flag is going to decide whether we're going to go another two laps or if we're going to finish this thing under, under green. Marker Leonard versus Caden Williams for second. And Frank Chilton. One at Chicagoland, if I'm not mistaken, is coming in clutch. We're going to try to come in clutch here and win the playoff race here at Pocono. We're in well at Mount Pocono in the Sox race here. We're very well composed. It's the 66 and the 25 still trying to get a run. The 25's got one, but can they get the run off the corner? He, The 25 does. Caden Williams, keep him in mind. Marker Leonard going to send it. Caden Williams going to send it. Oh, he backs off. Coming to the white flag here at Pocono. Yep, the white flag is in the air. Next Get flag is going to be the checkered flag, regardless if there's a wreck or not. Can the four hold off the 25 and the three? And possibly the 66. Maybe even Zig Dagoon if he gets up there. Caden Williams is cooking. Let him cook. Here comes that. Here he comes. Caden Williams. Jeremy Frey going to try to send a three. Caden could Look. not get the run. Here comes Jeremy Frey in the three for second. He's cooking. He's going to take Frank. second. Frank didn't get the run off the corner. 
Oh, he's still got the run. Can he stay ahead of the three? The three's got to run. It's going to be down to the line. Just side by side. In can the, the turn number three. Can the four get the run off the corner? He does. They're go. side by side. Down to the line. It's going to be Frank <laughs> Chilton in the four. It's going to edge him out by a little bit over half a car length. Get his second one of the season and make it to the round of eight in a very dominating fashion. So Frank will win his way into the playoffs at this rate. And unfortunately, they, they, this may come to the expense of some of the drivers who've been very consistent and at specifically Homestead, Miami. But Frank Chilton finally gets win number two. A hard fight win for Frank. Sir. Certainly so. That was a race and a half. Um, we had... I just can't say on some of these guys. It's going to come down. But if it were to come down completely to finishing, the entire uh, five cars that are below the cut line are going to be above the cut line. So we know... Uh, I, if I think that is confirmed. But at this rate, as it looks right now, it's not in stone. Depending on how who's has done what, but it's looking like the 63, 37, 97, and double zero will not make it to the next round. And uh, some of that is by one point. So we'll have to really see when I update points. Uh, I just did not think there would be that many cars working out in the first one, first crash, but uh, sure enough, there was. Very good race, though, I will say. Dark, you got any, got any closing thoughts for us? Well, yeah, Frank did what he has to do. He won. He gets the win. And for the guy that was... I mean, this race had everything. You had guys that you thought that was safe. Might be out. And guys that was not safe. They might be into the playoffs. Yep, and I Potato Boy. Say, for Pocono, but... When it comes down to points and finishes, it's going to be close to get the who who get the last two spots. You know, Potato Boy, yeah, yeah, he needed to come in clutch. He didn't start well, but he finished, and finishing was enough. So the entire uh, five below the cut line did finish the race. Nimrod barely after that accident, but um, that was something. Um, if Nimrod but, has enough points, he may eliminate, I guess, Gonzalez or either Sundown. We'll see what happens. But it looks like our regular season cars have been running well. Our came in clutch here at Pocono. But uh, as for me, uh, Dark X Rain, this is the NCCRS at Pocono. We'll see you next week at, uh, shoot, what is next race? Is it um, Watkins Glen? So Watkins Glen to start out the round of eight. Then two super speedways, so very challenging round of eight, and then we're a championship race after that. And uh, we'll see you then.